Hi, this is Liz. I'm the founder of Social Work Exam Strategies. In this video, we're going to talk about strategies to help we answer domestic violence questions in the ASWB exam. Let's review our strategies. Strategy number one, the client does not want to talk about their domestic violence situation or denies that there's a problem. The social worker should provide resources or refer to a shelter. Even though the victim might not want to talk about it, the social worker should still provide resources as a safety measure. So let's apply this strategy to a practice question. A 20-year-old female arrives to the emergency room with a broken nose and leg pain. She claims that she fell and doesn't want to talk about it. Her partner shows up with a box of chocolates and flowers and then leaves. After completing the initial assessment, the social worker should. So what are we going to do based on this information here? A, create a safety plan with the client. B, educate the client on, on the cycle of violence. Or C, provide the client with domestic violence resources. So let's eliminate. We can automatically eliminate A, create a safety plan. If you look at the question here, the client does not want to talk about it here. She does not want to talk about it. And she doesn't. she's not acknowledging she's in a domestic violence situation. In this case, we cannot create a safety plan with the client if she doesn't want to talk about the abuse or she doesn't acknowledge the abuse. So A is not my answer. B, educate the client on the cycle of violence. Based on this information provided here, this client does not want to talk about it. So we're not going to educate someone when they don't want to talk about it. So let's look at C. Based on our answer options and based on, based on this information provided, the correct answer is C. So for this question, the correct answer would be C. Remember, if the client does not acknowledge they're in a domestic violence situation and they don't want to talk about it, the best answer option would be to provide resources. So let's talk about strategy number two. The client acknowledges there's a problem but does not understand the dynamics of domestic violence. The client sometimes makes excuses for the abuser or dances around the idea, making state statements such as, he loves me, he cares about me. In this scenario, you would want to provide psychoeducation. So let's apply this strategy to a practice question. A 21-year-old female arrives at the emergency room with a broken nose and arm and states that her partner gave her these injuries after an argument. She informs a social worker that her partner promises to never hit her again because he loves her. In this situation, what should the social worker do next? So remember, this is a next question. And for next questions, you need to base it on the information that's provided in front of you. So what's the next thing that's going to follow? So let's read our answer option A. Educate the client on the cycle of violence. B, encourage the client to talk about the abuse. And C, provide the client with domestic violence resources. So let's look at our strategy here. So based on our strategy, and if you look at the last statement here in this um, question, the client informs a social worker that her partner promises to never hit her again because he loves her. In this situation, the social worker must educate the client on the cycle of violence. Most likely, according to our cycle of violence, the domestic violence will continue. So we have to educate our client. B and C do not address our immediate concern in this question. So for this question, we would have to educate. The correct answer would be A. So let's review our last strategy, strategy number three. If the client acknowledges there's an issue but is not ready to leave the relationship, the social worker should create a safety plan. Also, if the client is aware they are returning to an abusive situation, such as a returning home, the social worker should also create a safety plan. So let's apply this strategy to practice questions. A hospital social worker meets with a 21-year-old male in the emergency room who is covered with bruises inflicted by his partner, but insists on returning home. What is the most appropriate intervention? So we're looking for the most appropriate intervention based on this information here. Let's read our answer options. A, explore the partner's feelings about the domestic abuse. B, confront the patient's decision to return home or C, help the patient develop a safety plan. So based on the strategy, based on the answer options here, we're not going to do A, explore the patient's feelings about the domestic abuse. abuse. That's not the most appropriate intervention based on the fact that this patient wants to return home. A would not address my question. 
B, confront the patient's decision to return home. Again, I'm not going to confront the client based on this information provided here. C, help the patient develop a safety plan. C would be my correct answer. So the correct answer would be C, because if the client wants to return home and they're aware they're returning to an unsafe situation and they're aware that there's a domestic violence situation once they return home, they're going back to a DV situation, we have to create a safety plan for safety measures. So for that reason, C would be your answer. I hope you found these strategies helpful. Thank you for your time. If you like our video, give us a like and subscribe to our channel so you can be notified when we post new content. Please post a review on the comment section. If you are looking for study material or have any questions, visit our website at www.socialworkexamstrategies.com. Thank you for watching my video. I wish you all the best of luck. Thank you for allowing us to be part of your journey towards licensure. And please spread the word of our community so of social workers, helping social workers to anyone that could benefit. Thank you. Have a great day.